Here are two ways to unite a granny square using a tapestry needle. You put your yarn on the tapestry needle and we're working with the right sides of the granny squares together and I'm working through the both wrong sides and I'm working through the top loops and you're going through the top front loop of the one facing you and the top back loop of the one furthest from you and this is the whip stitch. You're just going under those loops and make sure you're matching the same ones so you're working evenly across the granny squares and you have your corners matched. And when you turn it over, I'll finish one more with the loop, the whip stitch. You can see that I'm using a different color so it shows up. And when you open it up, you can see the whip stitch inside and there's a little ridge on each edge and it's a it's a flat join. Let me show you the other one is called the weave seam and it's the same thing right sides together you're working on the wrong side and what you're doing now is weaving back and forth going under those same stitches the top two stitches, front in the front uh, granny square and back in the back granny square, but now we're not looping over. Now you're just sewing like you would sew a running stitch along the top, back and forth. And when you finish that, you see you have a running stitch, you open it up, it's called a weave seam because you're working back and forth. Again, when you pull it tight, these two seams almost, or these two lines seem to go together. So if you want something very flat, this is one way of doing it. There will be some more videos showing you other ways to join granny squares. If you would like written instructions or any free patterns, just go to free patterns at simpleandsensational.com